Hello HUD House Hunters, it's Donnie Corum. First of all, I'd like to say Happy New Year to all of our viewers out there. We hope you have a promising new year. And a lot of you obviously are going to have resolutions this year. Well, one resolution I'm going to encourage you to take right now is find your deal in 2011. Guys, all year long, we've been shooting the videos of the best deals out there. And a lot of our clients have achieved equity that in previous markets was not even possible. So if you're making a resolution to change your life, change your family tree, this is the year to buy a house. Record low rates combined with tons of foreclosures like the one we're about to see means you will find a deal. Just stay tuned with us at Colorado Springs Foreclosure Deal and thanks again to all of you that watch all of our videos religiously we do appreciate it with that we're standing in front of 4745 picturesque circle now this home is in the candlewood subdivision basically north carefree and Oro Blanco area so really nice neighborhood it features four bedrooms two baths two car garage a little over 1700 square foot of living space retail throughout this neighborhood is between 180 and 190 all day long this thing is listed at 160 grand i think you're gonna like this property come on in let's take a look so picturesque is your standard buy level home you've got two bedrooms upstairs two bedrooms downstairs when you walk in you go up or down we're on the upper level right now where you're going to find the living room area now the neat thing about this buy level layout is it's very a lot of windows it's very bright it's very open so you've got plenty of room to set out your living room furniture here as you walk upstairs and um the carpet is dirty in spots, and in general, this property is in need of an updating. But honestly, guys, it's a cosmetic updating. And with the amount of equity you're gaining on a picturesque property, I think a little paint and a little carpet is going to go a very long way to gaining the equity that's hidden deep within this property. So here we are in the living room area. As we head this direction, you'll see we got a chandelier sort of indicating a formal dining area. So you can set your table out here. You've got a really nice deck, which we're going to see when we finish out. And then, of course, you've got the kitchen space. Now, for my money, I like openness, and this is kind of confined. So for me, first thing I'm going to do is knock this out, take out this half wall, and just open this entire space up. So you've got a combination living room and dining room area. You'll see here they've got a carpet in the kitchen which again, very popular in this house's era, but not so popular now. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to consider updating the flooring. Beyond that, in the kitchen, you've got some slightly dated appliances uh, and cabinets and the countertops have seen better days. So again, this is a remodel, without a doubt, but it's a remodel where you're gaining equity. Guys, it's one thing to buy a dated property, put a ton of money into it, and you paid retail, and now you've got more money into it when it's worth. It's a very common mistake. Another thing altogether to buy a deal to begin with, put the amenities that you want in your home and then leave with more equity in it than when you got. When we do that, we call it flipping a house because we're going to buy it and resell it. But when you do it, it's just a smart way to gain some equity. All right, so we have the bedrooms back here. Now, first and foremost, you're going to notice the, uh, the bathroom, which has a great yellow theme going from the 70s. Um, so again, very dated. Um, but nothing that I can paint and some basic updating can fix. I would definitely replace the tile on the surround, um, probably replace the vanity and the toilet, things like that. So again, some updating to do, but tons of equity to do it with. Nice though is that it's attached to the master bedroom. So as we head this direction, you'll find that you've got a attached bathroom, which is very rare in this era, and you usually only see it in upper end homes, but you're definitely in an upper end neighborhood in the Candlewood development. So again, carpet's okay, um, could use a good paint job. It's actually pretty neutral, but it's just dated. So I probably wanna update the paint. That doesn't take much money at all, just a little bit of time. And then the windows are the old wood clad windows. They actually look to be far more recent than the house. So they may not need to be replaced right away or anything. Just know that vinyl windows are a little more fuel efficient, tend to hold in heat a little bit better. So at some point, maybe something you consider updating. Pretty decent size. Uh, it's got a, a wallpaper on it, which I probably wanna remove. Um, the paint seen some you know better days, so there's definitely going to be some paint modernization done in here. Again, the carpeting throughout is it, it feels good. The pad feels solid, and you know it's obviously in good shape. This may clean up just fine, so more than likely you won't have to replace the carpet. Um, so that's bedroom number two upstairs. Let's head on to the lower level, and I'll show you that part before we head to the backyard. Come along. So we're downstairs at picturesque. And like upstairs, you've got another living space down here. So this might be your den, you know, or the family room here. So you'd set the TV and whatnot against the wall over here. Um, and it's a very long room. So you've got tons of options here on how to lay out your furniture. Lots of space, 
a lot of good place to put stuff. Over in this section is our utility closet area. So the washer and dryer is going to be set up over here. And then we have our water heater and furnace, both of which are very modern. I mean, this can't be more than a couple of years old for the water heater. And the furnace looks the same. Obviously, we're going to have to get it checked out to be certain. But just on appearances, I think these are probably good to go exactly how they sit. So that's a huge plus. You don't need to worry about any of the HVAC stuff. You can just move in, start the updating, and go. Continuing on back this way, we have the uh, three-quarter bath. So you get your secondary bath downstairs. Very common with the bio levels that upstairs you get a full bathroom with tub and downstairs in a lot of cases if they do the shower stall instead. Um, if you wanted to swap that out, you certainly could. What I would probably do is change the uh, surround on that just to update that a little bit more. But in general, it's livable just the way it is. And you simply can't beat the price on this property. Here's the third bedroom. Third bedroom's got the 70s style paneling. Not a big fan of that, but that comes right off and typically exposes drywall. So that won't be a problem just to yank that drywall where necessary uh, texture and paint. It'll match right up and it'll really modernize this room. As before, pretty decent sized. Um, this doesn't need a whole lot except we're definitely going to need to swap the 70s grade carpet out of here. Um, beyond that, I would paint it. So you've got nice flooring, you've got nice paint in here. What you have is a modern house that you're paying $30,000 below what everybody else in the neighborhood is currently paying to live in this neighborhood. Guys, that's what we're talking about when we say find a deal. Don't buy a house in this market, buy a deal. And if you stay tuned all year long through 2011, Colorado Springs Foreclosure Deals is gonna be bringing you those deals each and every week. You're gonna find the best deals in the foreclosure market directly here, so please stay tuned in for that. Let's check out the massive garage before we hit the backyard, then we'll get you guys on your way. Come on. So here we are in the garage at 4745 Picturesque. And normally, if you watch a lot of our videos, you know we don't show the garage unless there's something exceptional about it. And this one has that. If you pan around here, you'll see this is a two-car garage, but it's a very, very large two-car garage. So in addition to two cars, you've got tons of room for storage. You can put a workbench off in the corner back there if you wanted to. You've got lots of options in addition to parking your car in this garage. Again, we don't like to show the garage, there's usually not much to see, but in this case, if you need a lot of garage space, this property definitely has that. With that, we continue on to the backyard, and backyard's a pretty average size. I first want to point out the deck up here. Um, decent sized sitting space, nice outdoor space, and what I love about the Candlewood neighborhood is the trees. You've got a lot of mature trees, so though you're right in the center of town, it really has a forest-like feel to it because there are just trees everywhere. That's something that a lot of the newer neighborhoods just can't do. They can't give you that, uh, that mature landscaping that comes with this area. Um, so the yard is not huge, but it's plenty of size, and it's actually a big lot in general, almost a quarter acre of living space, but the majority it's off to the side and to the back, because this is a corner lot, as you probably saw on the front shot of this. So if you do need a lot of yard space, you've definitely got it on this property, but just enough backyard to play and have a good time and be comfortable. With that, let's recap picturesque. We're at 4745 Picturesque Circle in the Candlewood subdivision. Basic cross streets are North Carefree and Oro Blanco area. This home features four bedrooms, two baths, a huge two-car garage, and about 1,700, almost 1,800 square feet of living space. HUD has this thing slashed right now to $160,000 in a neighborhood that comfortably supports 180 to 190 throughout. So if you're looking for a deal, you've just found it. As always, the best way to get into this property is to give me a call. The number's at the bottom of the screen, 719-649-2500. If you want to stay up to date with the best foreclosures right as they hit the market, there is one way to do it, and it is to go to www.coloradospringsforeclosuredeals.com, the leading resource for foreclosures in and around the Colorado Springs area. Guys, I can't thank you enough. It has been an amazing year, and the team and I, myself at coloradospringsforeclosuredeals.com just want to thank you for staying with us, and all of you that bought properties this year, thank you for the business. We look forward to working with in the future. Those of you who haven't yet, but are watching, we know you're watching and we greatly appreciate it. This is the year to take action and buy your deal. You're going to find it on Colorado Springs Foreclosure Deals.com. With that, this is Donnie Corum. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one.